Okay class, we're going to talk about the basics of geometry today. And we're going to start off with the undefined terms. There's three undefined terms, or as I like to call them, the undefined trio. They are point, line, and plane. What a point is, if you take your pencil and you drop it on your piece of paper, that's what makes a point. Second one, a line. Now some of you are 16, you might be going to the DMV soon. It's going to seem like the line goes on forever, and that's the most important part about a line is that it goes forever in both directions. That's why I have an arrow here and an arrow there. And I have a bunch of points here because actually what a line is is actually a bunch of infinite amount of points on it. But it goes forever in both directions. Finally, our last one, a plane. If you take your piece of paper and you lay it flat in your hand, what a plane is is if you imagine that this piece of paper extended forever on every side and was flat, that's what a plane would be. So basically it's a giant piece of paper that extends forever and is flat. Or, and also, as you can see here, I do some points and lines on it because in a plane we can have points and lines on it. So those are our three undefined terms, which we then call the building blocks for all our other definitions, which we're now going to go into. So the first definition that we're going to be talking about is segment. What is a segment? Well, it's part of a line that consists of two endpoints and all points between them. Now, as we see here, I have my two endpoints in red and then part of a line. It's the blue. So I have my two endpoints and the line in between it, but it's contained by those two endpoints. And it says all points between them. Once again, just like with a line, there's an imaginary bunch of points on here. Now, in the class, if you were to draw a line on your piece of paper, that's a segment because that line doesn't go forever, so it's a segment. It's only part of a line contained by two endpoints. Our next definition is red. What's a red? Well, it's part of a line that consists of one endpoint and all the points of the line on one side of the endpoint. Now, let me fix my ray here. But to visually show what a ray is, you see here we have an endpoint and then part of a line in the direction that goes forever. So conceptually, you kind of think it's half of a line, but it starts with the endpoint and then goes forever in one direction. To go the opposite way, there's another ray. Starts at an endpoint and then goes forever in one direction, hence with the arrows. So that's what a ray is. Our final term in this video is opposite rays. What are opposite rays? Well, it's two rays that share the same endpoint and form a line. As you see here, I have my endpoint. Starting this direction, I have one ray. Going the opposite direction, I have another ray. When I combine these two, I get a line. So these are opposite rays. Two rays that share the same endpoint and then go forever in opposite directions to form one line. That wraps up the basics of geometry. As you'll see, we will go further into this in the rest of the lesson.